In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a uh, three ribbons infographic slide in PowerPoint. You can see here I've added all the colorful ribbons uh, with the title and the icons and you can add your detailed text here. Similarly, I have given some different bright colors for this and a purple color for this with the color combination of yellow. And similarly, I just made another slide with a slightly difference here. You can see here, this is the same ribbons but some different way of using the shapes so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to light gray color then go to insert shapes select a rectangle and draw the rectangle towards the right side of the slide and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to give a little bit darker color here then I'm going to change it let me just increase the size a little bit more then go to insert shapes and you need to select from the stars and banners which is this one can you see this one wave just draw a wave and if you like to increase the size increase it and put it here shape outline make it no outline and the same thing i'm just going to select and press ctrl d to duplicate it reduce the size and put it something like this here and time being i'm just going to change the color of this i would like to give a different uh, shape here a kind of a cutout like a ribbon so for that go to insert shapes and select a triangle draw a triangle give some different color shape outline make it no outline and using this circular arrow rotate it and just bring it here you can see here position it well and then I'm going to cut it this much part okay so I'm just going to select this blue ribbon then the triangle using the shift key and under format merge shape just say subtract so you got this one this shape here and this side I'm going to insert shapes I'm going to select an oval shape and draw the oval shape something I want to cut this much part and select this first and then using the shift key click on the oval shape and merge shape say again subtract so you got this shape and I'm going to increase the size a little bit which should go till here now I'm just going to make it somewhat curved for this so select this object and zoom a little bit and right mouse click say edit points and you can see this point just drag it towards the line and then you can hold you can see this white just increase it here so you got this shape here and zoom out then it's time to change some color settings so I'm just going to give this color or you can right mouse click go to format shape and I'm going to give some blue color here for this also I'm going to use this blue color then select this press ctrl D to duplicate and give some gradient fill so I'm going to keep it only two stops the first stop let me just change the direction so this one I'm going to make it more dark orange and here somewhat light color and exactly put it here on top of the blue color and this also press ctrl D give the same gradient fill and put it on top. But here 
there should be some shadow effect then only the real uh, design will come out for that go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and select the gradient fill by default this color is showing so here i'm going to make it select this one going to make it a black color and this side i will select and use the same gray color and transparency for this effect i'm making it 100 percent and this also i'm going to increase the transparency effect and then bring this and put it here and send this to back and send select these two ribbons also and send this to back so you can see here let me just increase it a little bit so the ribbon goes from here let me just increase the size of this also and give some shadow effect for this i'll select this shadow effect for this also i'm going to say select the same you can press f4 key and here i'm going to give this shadow effect and for this also the same shadow effect here and then you can add the icons and text and the detailed text here to add the text go to insert text box and i'm just saying zero one here change the font any select any of your favorite font make it bold make it white increase the size center align and put it here and below you can put the title so i'm just pressing ctrl d to duplicate it reduce the size and put title there and this side you can insert some detailed text again i'm going to use the same font and put it here and if you have the icons just add the icons here now once you have done this i'm going to select all like this i'm using the mouse i'm just dragging the mouse by holding the left arrow key so that all these objects get selected press ctrl d to duplicate it bring it down and ctrl d bring it further down and make sure that all these three are sent to back the text and these two sent to back Now once this is done just arrange this one you can see here this is not aligned properly so just select this and move it and this also you need to select and move and change the numbers. and then you can just change the color of each so i'm just going to give some different colors or the other way around you can just change it and for this also i'm going to give some different colors and select the this and go to format painter click on the same thing here for this also i'm going to put the same colors here 
and again if you like to change the design of this also you can change it so right mouse click edit points and then you can just do some more changes something like this and for this also edit point just bring this outside so for each you have got some different kind of a ribbon effects here and if you like to change the color of these also the blue you can just change it maybe some light colors like this or some other colors you like to change it you can just change it for example let me just put some So something like this and you can add some icons i have just downloaded the icons and just add the icons here and this color also i'm going to make it the same background color so you can see here the design is ready That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.